Hello everybody and welcome back to the Let's Play campaign of Railroad Tycoon 3 Coast to Coast Expansion Pack. So this ex this scenario is called the Central Pacific and essentially we start in 1855 and we have until 1876. Um, so it's called the Central Pacific because uh, we play as the Central Pacific um, which was a railroad in the 1800s in America and it says here that the Central Pacific and Union Pacific Railroads linked together on May 10th 1869 at Promontory Summit, Utah and united a young country. It began with the passage of the railroad of the Pacific Railroad Act on July 1st 1862. Land grants were made available to the railroads so that they might join the coasts of the nation. That's your job now. So for bronze, we have to connect Sacramento, California, with Salt Lake City, Utah, before 1876. So we only have 21 years, so that's not a very long time. For silver, we have to do that, and have a company book value of at least 10 million. Uh, so that's similar to the Germantown one, where we had to worry about company book value, but 10 million isn't that high, to be honest. Um, and gold... Uh, we have to achieve all of that, but also move 10 carloads of troops before Sol between Salt Lake City and San Francisco, all before 1876. Troops will only appear after the cities are connected. So, yeah, I mean, uh, the main objective will be to connect, um, well, San Francisco to Salt Lake City. Um, which itself is quite far, but also... There are huge mountains in the way, and then once we get into Nevada, kind of around here, and then eventually Utah, we also have to cross even more mountains. So, special conditions. You'll have limited track. To start, you'll have 800 miles, which is not a lot really. At the beginning of each year, you'll earn an additional 100 miles. Okay. Um, so that means that we will have enough track to obviously get there, and um, I mean the one design scenario where you don't have enough track, because um, that would be literally impossible. You cannot resign nor be removed from the chairmanship of your company, nice to know. Track must connect to existing track, um, pretty standard, not really that big of an issue, it's pretty common. Uh, we did have that in the Go West scenario. But we didn't have that in the uh, German town, so. And you will not be able to buy or sell stock. Not an issue. We don't have to worry about net worth or dividends um, for this particular scenario. So that's really not an issue. It just means that we can keep issuing stock and not have to worry about the share price. Um, which is a good way of making cash. So anyway, we've already got the company set up. And yeah, we're not allowed to buy stock. We have 1.1 million to start with. Uh huh. So, San Francisco is here. There's not really a lot in San Francisco, to be honest. Uh, there's a port that demands weapons, lumber, and produce, which produce is supplied in Sacramento. So this distillery in Sacramento is probably going to make quite a lot of money. So yes, it is. Um, and then we want to haul this alcohol away to... Well, it's, it's 173 here. To Chico? Or maybe Redding? Or San Jose? Or Sa San Francisco, rather. So if you get San Francisco, San Jose... And then, uh, hmm, yeah, so I think the best thing to do, and we do have to connect to Sac Sacramento anyway, I think the best thing to do would be to connect Sacramento down to Stockton, and then eventually San Jose, San Francisco, what's in Madeira, or Mad I think it's Madeira. I'm guessing it's pronounced Madeira. It might be, like, Madeira. That doesn't sound right. Uh, not a lot, really. A bakery that demands grain. 
which is produced in Sacramento and demanded in Sacramento, so hey ho. Large station for Sacramento. Try and cover some of these farms. Uh yeah, I think that 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 sh will do. Hmm. No. I kinda wish I built it more in the centre of the town. Oh well. Oops. And then, uh, connect down. Good thing here is the land is nice and flat. Which helps a lot. Uh, down to Stockton. Uh huh. Medium station for Stockton. And uh, there's not really anything in Stockton itself. But Sacramento has a lot of alcohol that we can send to Stockton. And it also demands. There's also some grain, some clothes, and some corn. So there's a lot in Sacramento that we can send to Stockton, but there's not really much we can send back. Hmm. In fact, there's basically nothing. Just some produce. There's not even any passengers or anything. Um. But we'll need a maintenance. And a water tower. And... Might just have enough to connect to Madeira. Because I can't, I can't build an unconnected track. Which means I can't put the station down. Just yet. So. Madeira. Uh, medium station. And there's not really a lot in Madeira either. Just some passengers that want to go to Stockton. Um, does anyone want to go... Some people want to go from Stockton to Madeira. So, if we just set up one train, Stock Sacramento to Stockton, that'll make good money. And then Madeira, make a bit of money, and then back to Stockton, and then back to Sacramento. And... Yeah, go with a full... Hmm... Go the full, um, the full amount. Just why not? And issue some stock. No, actually, uh, get rid of the dividend. We don't really need it. Starting in 1855, we will get the American locomotive available. I think in it's. I think it comes available in June. Um, and the American locomotive is quite good. I mean, it's better than the Norris. And I think it's slightly better than the Baldwin. But in other aspects it's slightly worse. So. I don't really need this dining car to be honest. But. Well, there's actually quite a lot that wants to go to Madeira. I think this is one of those this is one of those scenarios, if I remember correctly, where it's kind of a slow start there you go. Slow start, but um later on you make so much money. So the American is more expensive to maintain but cheaper to buy. It has worse fuel economy, less reliable, passengers find it nicer, it's not as good on hills. But it is faster if you've got flat ground. So I think we want to upgrade this to an American. Since it's very flat ground. In fact it's... It's zero all the... Oh, it's... Zero and one all the way. So because it's very flat and the passengers prefer it... We can make that an American. And we'll probably want to invest in industry soon. 
So buy this corn farm. Unfortunately, I don't have a company. I don't have a company logo for the Central Pacific, so we've been given this default logo. Um, Stockton Cannonball. Nice. So we'll make even more money from uh, passengers. Um, yeah, the, the company logo sat downloaded. One of them. There isn't a Central Pacific. There's a Union Pacific, but that doesn't feel very applicable because we're, we're the Central Pacific, not the uh, not the Union Pacific. Hmm. Eh. Issue some stock. Nah. These fruit orchards are going to make a fortune because of this distillery. Which I may want to... I mean, I, I can't buy it. But if I build my own, that's 1.4 million. So we may want to buy our own distillery later on. Which would probably make a good amount of money. Uh, this textile mill is making some money. So some wool in here. Uh, investors are pleased with our performance. Good to know. There's some wool here that's making its way slowly to Sacramento. But there's no... There's no cotton in the entire map. So that's... Um, and there's only one place that makes wool. Wow, there's only one sheep farm in the entire map. It's making decent money. So that textile mill isn't going to make much money. Because it's only really going to make very limited amount of clothes. Um, how much is this distillery? 1.4 million. Yeah. 11% loan. No, I don't want to do that. I could issue some stock. And then... Hmm. Wait for this to come in. How much would it be to connect up to San Jose? Bear in mind, it's very inconvenient terrain because there's, like, hills and stuff in the way. Ugh. Um... Well, we could start building the track, I suppose. So, Sacramento to San Jose. Huh. There's not really anything in Chico or Redding or Yuba City. We've already connected to Madeira. And obviously we do have to connect to San Francisco eventually. San Jose has a bit. Sacra San Francisco has a bit. Um, try and avoid the hills where possible. Ew. That's a right nasty hill. Uh, that's not too bad an incline, but we are out of money. So rotate back to normal. There we go. And just wait for the money to come in. We only own one corn farm, and unfortunately, corn isn't really demanded any- oh. Well, it's demanded in this dairy farm. Which is making a lot of money, but it's too expensive to buy. Hmm. Also worth noting that the chairman of the Central Pacific is Leland Stanford, who was a US senator, lawyer in Wisconsin, and ended up as senator and governor of the state of California. Um. Ah, oh, I forgot a water tower. He uh, also helps found uh, Stanford University. Boom times ahead. Excellent. So we can get a loan for nine percent. So that's still too much. Can't issue stock. Just have to wait for the money to pile in. Uh, $200,000 bonus to connect to Pioche, or Pioche, Pioch, 
Pioche, I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, we will eventually connect there anyway. Because what we'll probably do, I mean, realistically, we want to, we want to div um, connect up to San Francisco, San Jose, and all this rail here. Probably, event maybe eventually go to Santa Rosa. And then eventually we'll probably connect up to Yuba City, Chico, and Reading anyway. Um, there's some farms and stuff there, so we'll probably make some money off passengers and stuff. But then eventually, we'll need to get up to Reno, Carson, and then we'll somehow need to get from Carson to Salt Lake. And the flat, we could either go direct, which would be quicker, but the grades would be awful, or we do what I normally do, which is Reno, Carson, and then kind of Gabs, Tano, Per. I don't know how you pronounce that either. Don't know how you pronounce that place. I'm just going to call it there. Cedar City, Fillmore, Provo, Salt Lake. And then kind of... It's it's sort of the long way around, but I think it's the flattest way. And therefore it'll be the quickest and easiest. But the way that we want to get from Salt Lake... Oh, sorry, from Sacramento to Reno and Carson. I mean, there's this huge mountain. If we look at the grades... Like... 10, 11, 12. I mean, we could tunnel. And a tunnel would cost about 6 million. But even then, we'd have a gradient of about uh, 4, 5 up the hill. So it wouldn't really be worth it. But, and I don't know if this is an oversight or if this is intentional. There is a way up. I don't know if you can see this. But if you go up here, there's a very sort of gradual mountain pass that leads directly to Reno. And it's not that steep. If you have a look... Uh, 1, 0, 0, 6, 8... It's not that bad. I mean, it's, it's hard to get an idea of the gradient right now, but... Trust me, it isn't actually that bad. Ah! Now, this is something unique to this scenario, which helps you get a lot of money. A group of large-scale produce farmers has offered to pay $150,000 every year you haul five or more loads of produce as an incentive to ship their product. I can't speak today. So if we haul five loads of produce... Every year, we get 150,000 cash. And if we look... Um, hmm. There, is, there isn't a way to uh, determine how much produce we haul last year. Only this year. But the produce... Is all around Sacramento. Um... Some in Stockton, but what we want to do is, if we build like a large station, say, here, or better yet, here, that would capture all of this produce, and then we could ship it on a very short line to Sacramento. So if we take out an 8% loan, we can do that. Eh. How's that? Uh... Perfect. Just about captures it all. And we can make some fairly decent money. And we can just use a Baldwin for that. Because we don't have to worry about passengers so much. So just haul as much as you can. And there we go. That's five. Or well, very nearly five already. And how much is it to buy some of these? 600,000. 700,000. They're too much to buy. Unfortunately. But we can issue some stock. Which gets us a bit more money. And then we can continue building this line over to San Jose. Ideally. Ideally avoiding the hills and stuff. Ugh, great, I can't. Is there literally no way around here? Have I gone completely wrong? I think I should have probably gone round there. Huh. Oh well. Might have to suck it up. Just... 
except... Well, that's pretty hideous, but it's not the end of the world. Like, can I build anything there? To maybe flatten it? How about post office? Nope, the post office trick ain't going to work. Post office trick is where you build something like a post office or a water tower um, on a hill in the hopes of flattening it because obviously buildings have to be built on flat land. Ugh, great, it's more incline. Nope. Build close to the coast. Ideally avoid most of this... Uh, Uh, so many hills. Oh, God. That's a lot of hill. Can we not build any closer to the coast or flatter? Flatter land. Uh, for God's sake. Are you seriously telling me that we can't build? Like... F I mean, that incline isn't the end of the world. It's not, like, awful, but it's pretty bad. Oh, God. At least we got mostly flat. Just, just here. There's a, a stupid incline here, and then uh, up going up here to San Jose, and then eventually, I don't know how we're going to get out of San Jose without a stupid incline. I mean, ideally, I'd build some kind of bridge over that hill. Hmm. But it's not letting me. And we don't have any money anyway. Ugh. Um, just out of interest, whereabouts do we want the station? Rotate the map around, back to normal. Uh, can't get San Jose. Ah, actually, that covers the whole town. So. Can we take out any kind of loan? 8% loan. Let's do it. San Jose. Are we missing anything? No. San Jose connected. They have a load of goods that want to go to Sacramento. And passengers that want to go to Sacramento, but no one wants to go to San Jose. Uh, there's no supply of iron, and Sacramento has some corn that we can send. So, San Jose, Sacramento. And put on a dining car. How are we doing for produce? Representative for the timber and steel industries of California has offered you a deal. If you pay them a stipend, or stipend, of $100,000 a year, they'll make sure you have enough timber to cover 25 miles. Yes. So basically, we're now paying $100,000 a year extra, but we have 25 miles of track, guaranteed. So even if we haul no produce, we now get 125 miles of track. Uh, and if we haul the produce, which we have done this year, uh, we make 150000 Minus 100,000 for the track, so if we hold the produce, we make 50,000. And if we don't hold the produce, we lose 100,000. But we get a lot of track. Which we'll obviously need. Um, anyway, I want a maintenance coming out of San Jose, and a water tower about here. So it's roughly halfway. And that should do. It's not the most excellent route. I mean, there are some pretty stupid inclines, etc. But I'm doing the best I can. Wow. 
How much is our own distillery? 1.4. I will want to build a distillery eventually. I could take out a, I could take out a loan of a million, and then it would pay itself off in about four years. In fact, hmm, yes, I might just do that to be honest. Just take out a loan, seven percent, nine percent. Can I, can I issue stock? Ah, oh, can't. Oh well, just wait for a train to come in. I'm going to want to double track this in Sacramento because we're going to get a lot of traffic. Just extend that a bit north. Can't issue the stock just yet. I don't want to take out another loan. Come on, money, money, money. Oh. What? Oh, we forgot a water tower. Damn it. Always forget my water towers and stuff like that. And there we go. So. There is a lot of... Uh, uh. Okay. Um... We'll have to change this because it's no longer hauling anything to go from Sa to go from the fruit farms to San Jose because uh, the price difference between here and here, probably because it's so short, has equalised. So we're not making any money. But for some reason, Sa San Jose demands produce. Hmm. But still, we're going to build our distillery in Sacramento. Done. And that should start to make some money. Some good money, at least. Yeah, the money's already coming in. A lumber mill's appeared in San Jose. Excellent. Unfortunately, are there any logs nearby? There are. Yes, there are some. Uh, but they're not making their way to San Jose. That's a bit worrying. Why not? Hmm. Hopefully they will do eventually. I mean, it's not in the catchment area, but they should still arrive. That's a bit weird. Anyway. Uh, we have hauled... We have hauled our produce. So we should do that every year. Because we've got so many produce farms. Or fruit orchards, as they're called. Uh, might want to upgrade this. Depends... We may want to upgrade this later on. It depends how well it does. Um, can we take out another loan? 10%. It's not really worth it. May as well just wait for the money to come in. And then we can connect over to San Francisco. Somehow. Problem is, San Francisco is very sort of, well, it's spread out. I mean, ideally, you'd want a station in the middle of the ocean, but obviously that's uh, a bit impossible. We do want a station that covers the barrackses, so we can probably get away with a medium station in that respect. In fact, we can get away with a medium station. Um, stock split two for one. Makes no real difference to me. Uh, single track, obviously. And ideally avoid the grades. Ah. Can't quite avoid these silly grades. Ah. Hmm. Well, it's not ideal, but it, it's a pretty hideous route. Well, I guess it could be worse. Excited about our performance. Right, let's issue the stock. 
And can we build the station? Mm, can't build it. No, can't. Not just yet. Right, so now I've got San Francisco connected. There's not really anything there, to be honest. It's just some passengers that kind of want to go to Sacramento. Um, so we want Sacramento, San Francisco, Hall, whatever, dining car. It's hauling alcohol. Excellent. I don't really care what it hauls as long as it makes money. Why is this not making... Why is this not hauling anything? Oh. Because there's nothing that wants to go... It's going back, that's why. Upgrade this to an American. Oh, I can't at the moment. Don't have enough money. Not just yet, anyway. There we go. Upgrade it to an American. And it's picking up produce. So, the produce goal shouldn't be an issue. Which means that we get uh, 25 loads of track, or 25 miles of track, and um, $50,000 a year, just for doing basically nothing, because we would have done it anyway. It's not like I'm really going out of my way to uh, haul this extra produce. Because I'm making money from it as well. Uh, how's our distillery doing? Mm, not enough produce for it to warrant an upgrade, unfortunately. And this corn farm's actually making a loss, so we can sell that. That's weird. I guess there isn't enough demand. So, how are we doing for our goals? Uh. We have until the end of 1875, or the beginning of 1876. Uh, it's, a, it's a slow start, but we are making fairly nice money. Um, and we'll want to connect to Yuba City, because there's some nice looking farms over there. Single track for now. If we build a large station, yeah, we don't really. We capture some of the farms. Let's just build a large anyway. So there's some passengers, there's some produce that wants to go to Sacramento, some passengers that want to go to Sacramento, and people that want to go from Sacramento to here, and some corn. So we can set up Sacramento to Yuba. Or Yuba to Sacramento. With a dining car. Like so. And we will need maintenance and water. Can't afford maintenance just yet. Unless... Can't issue the stock. Ah, this train's making a fortune. Just from, like, passengers and stuff. Right. Maintenance. Uh, how are we actually doing for traffic? Ooh. So we want to double up here. Uh, I may want to... No, I think we're okay everywhere else. Because obviously the main traffic will be here. From like Sacramento to... Uh, San Francisco and San Jose, etc. Just out of interest. Ah, the logs are making it... No, but... Why? It's still not making any money. The logs are coming to the lumber mill. Or rather, they're coming to the station, but they're not making any money. Hmm. It's quite unusual. Some clothes that want to go to... Ah, San... San Jose to Madeira would make good money. So... Dining car. That's hauling produce. 
Uh, so never. Yeah. I'm putting dining cars on trains that don't really need dining cars. But. Hey ho, it doesn't really make much of a difference. Slightly decreases the train speed, but we're not that bothered. At least I'm not. I can't issue the stock. We've already built the maintenance, yes. Um, probably want to connect to Chico. And even with a large, we wouldn't catch at any farms. That. Because we're already capturing those two. So there's no new farms. So we could just get away with like a small or a medium. For Chico. Uh, how are we doing for track? We've still got loads of track. And we make 125 in track every year. Uh, Chico. There's a gr lot of grain that wants to go to Stockton. Nobody wants to go to here. There's some people that want to go to Stockton. Anything in Stockton that actually wants to go to... Yes, so Chico to Stockton. And Danny Carr, just why not? And... Put a maintenance here, water here. And is it really any point going to Reading? Not really, because there's nothing really here. But then again, I said that about Chico. Um, we could do Chico to San Francisco. Let's do that. Chico, San Francisco. The thing is, is, like I said, it's a slow start because you don't really make much money at the start, but then later on, once you get cities connected up, there's a lot of farms and uh, you can make some good money. Uh, how's our distillery doing? Weird that it made 4 that year and only 1.7 that year. How's the other distillery doing? That's too expensive to buy. So textile mills making a loss. It shouldn't do because there's still quite a lot of wool. Um. There's plenty of produce. There's a distillery here that's making some money, so we could buy that. Uh, 7% loan, issue stock. Let's do it. Buy this distillery. And then we can make money. Probably want to upgrade that to a large. We can't. Don't have any money at the moment. There we go. So, the produce... We can haul it to Stockton. Uh, Sacramento Junction to St oh to Madeira, sorry, not Stockton, and not making a lot, not making a huge amount of money. Civil War, so we had the Civil War the last time, um, same sort of time period, I suppose. Prices for weapons and ammunition up fifty percent, but if we look on the map, weapons are produced in Carson. Ammunition is only... Well, there isn't any ammunition on the map. Weapons are produced in Carson and Reno. And Cedar City, Provo. But the problem is, is by the time we get there, we won't actually make any money from the weapons because the war will have probably ended. I mean, it ends in 1865. So we probably won't make it in time. Huh. Yeah. Got 15. 
Yeah, we've got 15 years left in this scenario, and we probably need to start building up this hill. Or, this hill? I mean, this mountain, really. Eventually. Uh, can't issue the stock. This one's making good money. So I could upgrade that later on. Depends on how it does. This brewery is not making money, but it's making money this year, so that's a bit weird. Uh, fruit orchard. Fruit orchard. Oh, we could buy that. In fact, I want to buy that. Uh, Cherry Creek has offered a $100,000 bonus to the first railroad to connect to it. Uh, we're not going to connect there, really. Come on, give me money. There we go. So I just bought this fruit orchard, which is probably worth more than we bought it for. Because um, it's making $76,000 a year, and we bought it for $600,000. So um, that'll pay itself off in about uh, eight years. That's pretty good. Oh, Sacramento, San Francisco does not have enough water. So we want a water tower here. Uh, probably need a water tower here. There we go. Just build some more water towers. Anyway, how did we do last year? We made a lot of money last year, which is why they're very pleased with us. We also have a load of track. Book value is always... All, the book value is ha just slightly more than halfway there, so we don't have to worry about book value because we've still got a lot of track laying to do. Uh, could take out a 7% loan. But no, I think... Stockton Cannonball. I think we should probably, for now, uh, just worry about trying to get some money and um, build up the mountain pass out of uh, Sacramento. So we can start building that. I need the sl I need like the So there's a slight incline up here. Can I avoid that? Or is it unavoidable? Oh no. So we managed to avoid it. We have 600 miles of track left, which is still quite a lot. Because, I mean, if you look in total, we've only laid 434. So 600 miles of track is plenty. Uh, I don't know how far that will get us, but... Because we are taking quite a long way round, but it should be fairly flat. Well, it's the flattest route there. Uh, issue stock. I'm very slow. Can we take out a loan? 7%. Hmm. Uh, let's just keep building up this path. Ideally, avoid the inclines. See, if we went any other route, we'd have to deal with huge inclines. But going this route, the inclines... Yeah, the inclines are bad, but they're not... They're not quite as bad as they could be. Although... I'm not very happy with that incline. Is that unavoidable? It might well be unavoidable. Because obviously we'll have, like, we will have to deal with some incline. We are going up a mountain. Yeah. May have to take out a loan. I've just issued some stock. Okay, a bit more money's just come in. Keep building up this path. At least the maximum incline is only about 7 or 8, as opposed to 10 or 12 or something. It would be... It would have been less steep to go through tunnel, but that costs a lot, lot more. Uh. 
could take out a loan. How's the actual profit? Hmm. Huh. Making quite a lot in profit, which is nice. And we're basically there now. We've got through the hard bit, which is up the mountain. So once we actually get to the top of the mountain, it's pretty flat. Like it is here. Bit more money, please. Just wait for the train money to come in, which it does. Good. We'll need a lot of water towers because there's a lot of incline, so we'll need a lot of sand. And also it's quite a long way anyway, so we'll need water. Anyway, um... Huh. Just hauling alcohol out of uh, San Francisco. Still making good money. May want to upgrade this, actually. In fact, we will probably want to upgrade this for 780,000. Stock's about to split again. What is our net worth, just out of interest? 307,000. Because we don't own any stock. So we're just making money. How is... Oh, we're just making money from the salary. Yeah, the net worth really doesn't make a difference in this game. Um, because we can't buy and sell shares, obviously. Excellent. Got our hundred... Uh, got our money... For... And we made decent money last year. Um... Do I take out more bonds? 7% or do I just wait? I think I'll just wait to be honest. Put on very slow and just keep building this track. Uh huh. There's a slight incline there. But there's not really anything I can do about that I'm afraid. And we are in Reno. Uh, issue stock, we can't. I'm surprised the stock didn't split, but I guess it wasn't high enough. Uh, I'm not entirely sure when I can actually... S oh, oh dear. Ah, uh, okay. So we'll need a maintenance here. How are we doing for traffic? Might want to double some of the... Yeah, I think I want to double this up. Just in Stockton. Don't have enough money. Double that up. Come on, let me issue the stock. Still can't do it. I can get a six percent loan, so let's do let's do a six percent. Uh just double up a bit more. Uh oh, we're getting really bad traffic here. So double up all this. Oh god, that traffic is apparently really bad. Double up around here. Don't want to waste all our money because we still have to connect to Reno. So back to single track. Uh. And then we are into Reno. And then we can just keep building along over to Carson. And then we'll want to kind of go around like there. And then... Gabs, Snowper. It's not pretty, but... The alternative is just directly go through here. Which, to be honest, wouldn't be very ideal either. And the thing is, once we get to Pioche, it's basically flat. And there are some pretty big cities here, like Fillmore, Provo, Cedar City... Um... Which we can make money from. We won't want to go from like Provo to Carson because that's. Well, maybe we will. But we will want to do things like Pioche to Salt Lake and just kind of run trains along here. Um, but obviously, the majority of our stuff will come from like this area. Anyway, uh, Reno, you, you can get a large station. In fact, you need a large station. There's actually a mine here. That's not making any money. Weapons factory demands iron, of which there's plenty, apparently, and lumber, 
of which there's basically none. It's produced in San Jose, but there isn't enough, and also it takes ages to get there. So, Reno, you have some alcohol. Uh, we could go... And there's some grain that's demanded in Sacramento. There's some iron that's demanded in Sacramento. Nobody wants to go to Reno, but people want to go to Sacramento. So, uh, Reno, Sacramento... Dining car, boom. Hauling mail, grain, grain, passengers, iron and iron. And, just for the sake of it, we'll do a Sacramento-Reno line. Hauling corn and milk, for some reason. But, before I forget, they do have maintenance, but we will need water towers. And we'll need a lot of them. Uh, probably need another maintenance here. It's easier to get to re to get from Reno to Sacramento because it's obviously downhill, so you won't need as much water and uh, and sand. But obviously, going uphill will be quite bad. Whoops. Because I mean, look at the amount of sand. It's well, actually, it's not using that much sand to be honest. Uh, now it is. It's using a lot of sand to get up this hill. So we'll probably want to service here because the grade is really bad here. But there's not really anything I can do. I mean, the alternative would have been to build a tunnel, but that would cost six million, something like that, something stupid. Anyway, issue the stock. Uh. Build a tunnel, or well, the alternative is just build. Hmm. Building a tunnel might not actually be that bad. An idea, to be honest. Because it's quite cheap for a tunnel, because it's obviously very short. It avoids the incline. And we are in Carson. So, Reno to Carson, the gradient is really not that bad. But we need a large station in Carson. And Carson, you have. People want to go from Reno to Carson. Or people want to go, you know, Reno to Carson. Could do a short line like that. Re Just like that. Carson, Reno. Bloody hell, that's a lot of passengers and mail. And then Carson to Sacramento. Yeah, Carson, Sacramento, and then Sacramento, Carson. Sacramento, Carson. Don't really need the dining car, to be honest. Hauling lots of alcohol. Book value is almost high enough. Eh. We do need to get to Salt Lake fairly quickly, because... Uh, we only have... We have 11 more years. No, sorry, we have 12 more years. So we used up... Oh, we've not actually used up half the amount of time we have. But bear in mind, we will need to hold 10 loads of troops from Salt Lake to San Francisco, or San Francisco to Salt Lake. And obviously, Salt Lake to San Francisco is a lot easier, because we have to go down the mountain rather than up the mountain. Uh, can't issue stock. Can take out some 6% loans. 7% loan? Nah. Oh, uh, well, I took out one by accident. Oh well. Uh, next stop, Gabs and then Tonopa. Or Tonop. Tonopa? I don't know how you pronounce that. There's a lot of places I don't know how to pronounce. So. Uh, possibly got myself into a. Try and avoid these gradients where possible. So. Uh, go over to Gabs, round here, and then we want to go to Tonopa, and it's a very windy route, unfortunately, but it's just kind of 
finding the flattest parts. Uh, want to issue stock? I can't. So we'll just have to wait for the money to come in, and then we will need a medium station for gabs. Like that. And a water tower. What's in gabs? Uh, not a lot, just some iron. That we can't really ship anywhere. But we can go from Carson to Gabs. That would be a good line, because there's some passengers as well. So Carson to Gabs. Uh huh. How are we doing for traffic? Traffic is fine. Uh, oh dear. Some traffic between Stockton and Yuba. Um, doubling up seems to have helped. Probably want to double up in Madeira. And can we actually... Yeah, just double up all that. Just to reduce this traffic a bit. Uh, does this... I think doubling up actually uses up my available track, which is a bit annoying. Because I kind of want to double up here, where the traffic is really bad. Between San Jose and uh, Sacramento. So we've actually kind of run out of track. Which is kind of annoying. Yeah, we've run out of track now. Have to wait. But, fortunately, because of the... Uh, um, 100,000 a year deal and the produce... Well, the project doesn't give us such a track, but we do get 50,000 a year just for doing nothing, and we do get 125,000 a year, every year. So, we just basically have to wait now, wait for the money to come in. Uh, could pay off some of these loans, not really much point because we're making a lot of money anyway. I'd love to be able to build to Tanopa, but I've run out of track. So I just have to sit here and wait for the money to come in. And we are making a lot of money. Uh, fruit Orchard... I didn't know it. Oh yeah, we owned a Fruit Orchard. Uh, distillery, upgrade that. And the other distillery in Madeira. Yep. So now I have 125 miles of track. Upgrade that. Can't quite upgrade it. There we go. Um, issue some stock. And there we go, we have 125 miles of track, which is enough to get to Tanopa. Like that. Still have 42 miles left. Uh, we want to connect to Pioch. And we'll probably go... We could go round and down like that, but that would be a heck of a long way. So I might just build some kind of tunnel, if we can. This iron mine's barely making money, so I don't want to buy that, really. There's a lot of iron over here. There's a lot of goods over here that want to go to... Actually, we could ship the iron over to... Uh, Carson. There's some passengers that want to go over there as well. There's some loads of goods, so Tanopa Carson, we will need maintenance and we will need water, I know. I uh, don't need that, because there's actually no passengers, really. Um Maintenance Water Boom. Boom times! Unfortunately we run out of track, so... Can't... I mean, I could take out a loan at 5%. But we really don't need any money. Steel railway bridges. Nice. So I'm going to start building them from now on. Uh, this needs water. Carson to Reno. Did I not build a... No, I didn't build a... Oh, I didn't build a maintenance either. That's worrying. Uh, build one there. And... Water. Just build it here, so actually, so it can service itself. 
right now. There we go. Aha! The consolidation. Best locomotive in this entire scenario. It is more expensive to buy, more expensive to maintain, but it's much faster. It's got more pulling power. It's better on the hills. Um, it is more reliable and better fuel economy. So we will want to upgrade some of these trains to uh, like Carson Sacramento. That can become a consolidation. And this one can become a consolidation. We don't have enough money. But we will upgrade that to a consolidation. Uh, Reno, Sacramento. That can be a consolidation. Basically, anything with a hill will become a consolidation. And in time, we will just oh, do it. In time, we'll want everything to be consolidations. Uh, yeah, you can be a consolidation. Can we issue some stock? Can't. Uh, Reno, Sacramento. Consolidation. I think you can see where this is going. I kind of like the consolidation. It's just a great locomotive all round. Like, considering it's quite an early locomotive, there's nothing really bad about it. It's good on hills, it's got good pulling power, it's fast. Passengers don't mind it. It's not great on acceleration, and not great on fuel economy, but none of these trains are. So it's, it's the best all round. Um, unless you want something for passengers. But even then, like, acceptable is fine. Uh, do we have track? We don't. Carson Reno. May as well make that consolidation. Excuse me. Consolidation. Sacramento Junction to San Jose. Consolidation. San Jose, Sacramento. Well, I think it's about time we got a consolidation. Consolidation. Uh, consolidation. And consolidation. We are making a lot of money. I mean, I know it's an economic boom, but we are making a lot of cash. Uh, consolidation. Consolidation. I think that's all of them now. I think they're all consolidations. Yep. The entire thing is consolidation. So we will have to pay more. There's actually not that much more in maintenance. It's only 2,000 per train extra, which is 32,000. So 25 loads of produce were hauled that year. Blimey. Stock split two for one. Just out of interest, did it say anything about... Hmm, that's interesting. It's not said anything about the Civil War ending. So, the weapons and ammunition prices, I'm guessing, are still really, really high. Um, so, if you somehow manage to get some weapons, of which there are none. What about ammunition? None. Uh, anyway. So, I was going to say we could just haul some weapons and some ammunition, but we can't. Tunnels and bridges are set to common. Hmm. But we can't build a tunnel through here. Although it is letting me build a bridge through there, that's a bit silly. I don't really want one like that. Well, maybe I do. That's not a stupidest idea, actually. Because it would avoid a pretty nasty gradient. It's a bit expensive. Just stick to wooden bridge. That's a lot cheaper. That's that's a pretty... It, 
Rero Tycoon does have some feats of engineering. That's an incredible bridge. Do I keep it? Yeah, let's keep it. Ah, uh, more hills. And I think we are out of track. Sacramento Flyer, nice. That's thanks to the consolidation, obviously. And we are out of track. But we can just about connect to Piosh. And we get 200,000 bonus for connecting to Piosh. So basically that station was free. There's a lot of iron that wants to go to Tanopa. No passengers. Let's just do... And I don't think we need a dining car. No, we don't. Really. Nope, we don't. Because we're making a lot of money just hauling iron and... Whoa! To know for Carson, making a fortune on goods. See, this is the thing. In this map, you can make a lot of money... Um, ...later on. Just use up my last mile of track. Makes literally no difference. Uh, there's really no point paying off the loans either. And we don't need to issue any more stock because we're making a fortune. Um, how's the book? The book value is high enough. I only hauled four loads of produce so far this year, apparently. A bit weird. I can't... Can I double up track? No, we can't actually double up track, so that does use up... Doubling up track does use available track mileage up. It's a bit annoying. Oh, I will need uh, maintenance, water, and just build another. No, actually, no, don't build a maintenance there. Economic boom fading, but we are in prosperity, so it's all good. Uh, we do have a fortune in cash. Uh, but we do. Hmm. We've got 10 years. We should do it. Because. Oh, I mean. The thing is. I only hold 8 that year. A bit worrying. Where's this produce actually coming from? And where's it going to? Now, it's not that much. But there's a whole load in Sacramento. That we can hold to Carson and Tonopa. That's a bit weird. Uh, the distillery is still making money. Mm. No, they're still making money. We could buy that, but there's really no point because we're making enough anyway. Um. Right, so we might need to find an alternate source of produce. There's some in Provo. The thing is, is the produce just gives you money, which we don't really need anymore. It doesn't give you any more track. Like 150,000, we can kind of afford to... We can actually just afford to not do that. Um... Not the most ideal station, but it'll work. There we go. So Cedar City's been connected. Whole load of iron that wants to go to um, Tonopa. Some meat that wants to go to Tonopa. People want to go Piosh. So Piosh Cedar City with a dining car. And then people want to go Cedar City Tonopa. With a dining car. And then we can do Tonopa Cedar City. Actually, no, don't do that. And we're again out of track. So. Next year we can do Cedar City Fillmore, probably. and then. So by about 1870, we should have Salt Lake hooked up. And then we'll just go out to build a load of trains to go from Salt Lake to San Francisco, and vice versa. Uh, oh, I um, just realised we need uh, maintenance, 
here, water here, and that'll be fine. Really no point in issuing stock because we're making loads anyway. Um, but we do need lots of produce. Where's... Yeah. Sacramento Madeira. Could just build another train to be honest. Actually, hmm. Yeah, let's do it. I've already done it, so... Sometimes we seem to haul a load of produce, and sometimes we don't. Like, sometimes we haul about 25, and then sometimes we haul 7 or something. A whole load of... Why is there so much paper in Sacramento? Because Santa Rosa creates paper. There's a load of produce that wants to go to... Well, just all over the place. Alcohol. Demanded in San Francisco, so that's going to make a lot of money. There's a load of passengers, though. Where do they want to go? To Tonopa and Stockton. Uh, and they want to come from Tonopa and Madeira. So we could do Madeira San Francisco. Oops. Madeira Sacramento. And then Sacramento Tonopa. And vice versa. Tonopa, Sacramento. Waiting for track to clear. I mean, it will add extra traffic, but it's not the end of the world. Average speed won't be very high here anyway, because there's all these stupid hills. From the uh, mountains and whatnot. Um, Carson's going to get very busy. Damn it. Oh, I forgot to build maintenance between Carson and Gabs, apparently. Damn. So I build maintenance coming out of Carson. There is a water tower there. And just build another. Uh, Gabs to no open. Hmm. No, that should be okay. What's the chance of breakdown? It's high. Let's just build one there, anyway. Holds up lots of produce. Only somewhat pleased with us. Yeah, we did make less money. We are in economic status normal. So. Come out. Come out of Cedar City. And we, uh, can't quite get to Fillmore. Damn. But I can build maintenance here and just water some water in preparation here. It's gonna be a tight squee Ooh, we've got some weapons. In Reno. I don't know how that happened. Iron and lumber. So some lumber that's coming from I don't know where it's coming from actually. Chico? No. Might be... No, because I don't think we have any San Jose Reno lines. So I don't know. Out of interest. That's actually making a lot of money. Um, Could buy it. We don't spend all our money, but... The thing is, we're not really interested in money anymore, like... I know it sounds stupid, but we have so much of it. Uh, should get gold. Um, mm. There we go. Produce just came in. Ah. I 
I am a bit worried that we won't get the gold, but I think we should. Because we've got until 1876. So we... Just as long as... Single track. We can use... We can use iron bridges. Could use stone, to be honest. We've got that much money that we can afford stone bridges. We get 125 miles of track every year. I know it sounds stupid, but it's a very good thing that we pay that 100,000 a year for the um, 25 miles of track. Because 25 miles of track over 20 years is uh, 500 miles of extra track, which doesn't sound like a lot, but it's an extra 20... Well, it just it just adds up. Uh, we do have no track left. I'm going to need a maintenance here in preparation and a water tower here. And Provo has some produce that we can haul to Pioch. Uh, there's no passengers or anything. Actually, we could, we'd be better off fill more Cedar City. Just hauling livestock and produce and basically anything, really. How are we doing for traffic? I do like that wooden bridge. I mean, once we get to Salt Lake, if we've got track left over, I'll demolish that and replace it with a stone bridge. And it'll make it faster over there, but it's negligible, really. It's just, once we get to Salt Lake, any extra track we can just use for, like, doubling up and replacing old bridges. Ah. Still not even in Provo. Because the problem is, it's going to take ages to get from Salt Lake to San Francisco. But there's nothing really I can do. Like, I've done everything in my power to make... I've, I've done everything I could to get extra track. So besides taking different routes and maybe not doubling us up as much track... I couldn't have got... I can't get to Salt Lake any earlier. Investors aren't happy with us. I don't really care. I'm going to buy this lumber mill. There's a lot of logs, actually. I could build... There's not any pulp... Where's the pulp wood going? Yeah, it's going to Santa Rosa, that's why. Um, oh, we have track. So we can connect to Provo. And then we might... Just make it to Salt Lake. We have made it to Salt Lake. Excellent. We do miss out some stuff, but it's not essential. So we made it to Salt Lake in 1870. The USA is bridged. Central Pacific Railroad and the Union Pacific finished the Transcontinental Railroad. Excellent. So there are some troops there already. So we want to do... Oops. Uh, I can rotate that back. Salt Lake City, San Francisco, Caboose, just haul anything. It's hauling troops, 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 and passengers. Meat and meat, and it's making a lot of money. Set that to an express, that means that it will not yield to any other train, so it will just get direct access. Unless there's another train with high priority with more viable cargo. So it doesn't have to worry about waiting for track to clear. It will just go. And we can also do San Francisco to Salt Lake. That's hauling some troops. Now it'll obviously take a lot longer to get there. Um, because it's got to go up the hill. 
rather than down the hill. We are out of track. We have... Uh, until the end of eight, until 1876 to haul 10 loads of troops. And we're hauling 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 at the moment. I think we're, we're going to get gold. Of interest. These produce... These things produce four every year. So we will eventually want another train going from Salt Lake to San Francisco. We just follow this train. Oh, I'm going to need um, maintenance coming out of Salt Lake. Water towers. We didn't actually build a station in Provo. Let's just build a large. Large station in Provo. Uh, we can do Provo to this Cedar City. Provo, Cedar City. Just haul anything. Dining car. And then Cedar City, Provo. Why not? Don't really need a dining car, so... Uh, how's this train doing? Uh, it's going to take ages. Of course it's going to take ages, it's got a very slow mode. So it doesn't have to wait for anyone, so it's just, it's just going to go. I don't fully understand this goal, like, why, why haul troops between Salt Lake and San Francisco? Um... The Civil War's ended. If anything, it would make more sense to haul them from San Francisco to Salt Lake, because... I don't know, why, why would you need them in San Francisco? Hmm. So the investors are pleased with our performance, because we made more money than we did... Well, far more money than we did last year. And we do have a bit of track, so we can just... Can we demolish this? Uh, we can... So just, just upgrade that to a stone bridge, and, oops, rotate, just upgrade anything really to a stone bridge, just upgrade this to stone bridge, uh, it doesn't really make any difference, but we may as well, because it makes stuff that it makes stuff run faster over the bridge, because obviously it's stone rather than wood. Uh, really? I might I I didn't actually have any other bridges. But anyway. Uh, there are more troops that have appeared in Salt Lake, so we want to do Salt Lake San Francisco, Caboose, Dining Car, Express. One carload of troops, some passengers, some mail, and we'll probably want to do San Francisco. Yeah, we can do San Francisco to Salt Lake. It's hauling some more troops. So. Ah. I was going to say it's waiting for track to clear, but. That's a bit weird. Because it shouldn't do. Hmm. Oh, and we'll want to double up round here. Double up round cast. So we're out, we're out of track. So any remaining track that we get, which is 125 miles, we can just double up track while we wait for the troops to arrive. Oh, God damn it. So much... traffic. And I don't know why this is... What's this waiting for? Has any arrived yet? No. Damn. 
Come on. Ah, oh, I seriously hope we can get gold. Still none have arrived. Uh, hang on. We are in an economic recession, not to make any difference to me. Traffic. Probably wants to double up around here. And obviously we'll want to double up around Carson. Where it seems to be quite busy. Uh, it's not that bad up this mountain. And uh, just double up here. Okay, that's uh, very weird. That's kind of like a that's kind of like a game bug. It still works. Just imagine that looking more like that kind of, or like that. It does work. Anyway, so we've hauled five loads of troops. So halfway there, these guys are hauling some troops. Uh, no more troops. Uh, troops, passengers, troops, passengers. But it's only just started, so... Ugh. Just keep... We're gonna get gold, it's just kind of waiting now. These guys are nearly at San Francisco, but they've only got one load of troops, which is a bit annoying. Consolidation certainly help. Number mills doing good. Oops, misclicked. Uh, distillery. This distillery is not making as much, not making that much money, but it doesn't bother me. We are making a lot of money. Uh, six loads of troops have made it. What's this train? One. Hmm. One and a bit loads. Any any really really bad areas of traffic, and I mean like really bad, that aren't already doubled up. This area. Ah, oh, God. It's not pleasant. I want to double up around here. It's done that thing again. Ah, oh, well. Those grades are pretty bad, but I don't see any way that we could really make them better. Uh, seven loads of troops. Nine... Yeah, I think... We will do it. It's just waiting. Company book value is huge. Company book value is nearly four times what we need. Company book value is just huge. Uh, why is that? Industry buildings, cash, stations, track, just everything. you got to remember, we do have 1475 miles of track. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. We only have 17 stations. So we don't have a huge amount of stations. But we do have a lot of track. It's a We do have like a lot of uh, industry and just a lot of cash and a lot of everything really. Just go ahead, buy stuff because we can.
buying it not because I need to, but because I can. Oh, come on. Oops. Come on, troops. I think... Will this train get us the gold? No. Damn. But that train did. Oh! I was scared for some time we, we wouldn't actually get a gold there. But we did. So, gold medal. You bested the Rockies fair and square. Yes, we did. So, close that. Uh, yes. So, uh, that was the Central Pacific scenario. I got a gold medal and I was playing on hard. Um, yeah, I was, I was really scared there that I wouldn't actually get a gold because I thought maybe I left it too late to connect to Salt Lake, but I guess you can't really connect to Salt Lake any earlier unless you just don't build double track or just don't build as much as I did. But then you don't make as much money, because you do need... I mean, obviously you need San Francisco, San Jose, uh, Sacramento. Yuba and Chico. But they did provide a lot of money, so... Um, if you're watching this, obviously... And you do plan to play this scenario, or you're struggling with it. Um, the produce helps early on, because that's an extra 150000 um, a year. Later on it doesn't make much of a difference, but you will just do it anyway, because you'll just haul that much produce anyway. You'll just do it without even thinking, really. Um, careful with traffic, and you will need to double up some stuff. Um, just be careful of, like, inclines. Um, make sure that your inclines aren't too steep. Um... And obviously the extra 25 miles of track a year does help. But be warned because you will have to pay the 100,000 a year. But later on that becomes negligible because I'm making like 4 million a year. Um, but do accept it. Like, because if you don't, you are missing out on a lot of track. And I'm not sure without it, would I be able to get gold? Probably not. I'd probably still... I'd be struggling to get to Salt Lake in time to get the gold. I mean, it took me four years from Salt Lake to the, to get the troops in time. So I, I cut it pretty fine. But anyway, um, that was gold medal on hard on the Central Pacific scenario. So thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share, uh, leave a comment question below. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.